ladies and welcome back. Tonight, as I was thinking about what to talk about, the word fear jumped into my head. Fear? Like what is fear or what do I fear? Fear as a noun is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. He is prey to irrational fears. Fear as a verb is to be afraid of someone or something as likely to be dangerous, painful, or threatening. Farmers fear they will lose business. Okay, so that's the meaning of fear according to the Oxford Online Dictionary. But what is fear? Isn't it an emotional as well as a physical response? The physical response of fear for me is the wobbles in the stomach, tension in my shoulders, the rise in blood pressure, feeling jumpy, having a hard time swallowing, coughing, shortness of breath, sweating, and I usually cry. The emotional side is I feel unsafe. I'm unsure. The feeling of dread. I'm nervous. I feel that I'm in danger. I need to run that fight or flight response. Anxiety. Those are my emotional feelings. So is fear good or bad for you? It depends on the situation you're in. Now, I'm part of the Rolling Hills Toastmaster Club in Richland Center, Wisconsin, public speaking. Let me tell you about the first time that I spoke in public. I had to get up in front of the group and speak. I grabbed the lectern with both hands, white knuckled it. My left arm went numb. I couldn't turn my head. My jaw was locked. I finished speaking. The only thing that saved me was the thought, that I am in the hospital. We hold our meetings in the hospital's conference room. And if I have a heart attack in the hospital, they just have to whip me upstairs to the emergency room and I'll be fine. When I was finished speaking, I had to unclench my fingers from the lectern. I had to unlock my knees, walk back to the table and sit down. I think at that point is when I finally started breathing again. I was terrified. Amazingly, no one could tell I was scared, that I had fear. The fear was so great. It was fear of the unknown. I had never gotten up in front of a group and spoke before. I could critique everybody else. I can watch other people speak, but me stand up in front and speak? Are you kidding me? I survived. Barely, but I survived. That was the start of my public speaking adventure. Now, I can't tell you now that I don't have fear of getting up and talking in front of people because I do. Doing these videos scares me. It's fearful. I'm getting better at it, I like to think, but at least I'm trying. And that's more than you can say for a lot of people. I'm trying. Am I perfect? Ah, heck no. But who wants to be perfect? Perfect is boring. So in this situation, was fear good or bad? I like to think it was good. It pulled me out of my comfort zone. It allowed me to try something new, fail or succeed. And I did survive. It heightened my emotions and I was more sensitive to those around me. There's all sorts of different kinds of fears. Agoraphobia, generalized anxiety disorder, Panic disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, separation anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, and a plethora of other specific phobias. And there are even treatments for such fears and phobias. Usually it's a systemic desensitization, which is where you are gradually introduced to your fear until you become used to it. Flooding is where you're exposed to a large quantity of whatever it is that you're afraid of or put into the situation that you fear, but it's in a controlled and safe environment. And you're there until you learn that you're safe and you no longer fear whatever it is that you had feared. Well, both sound scary to me. Well, what are some ways to cope with fear? Having social support, somebody to talk to, they can help you manage your fears. Practicing mindfulness. 
you can't stop your emotions, but being mindful about them can help you manage them and replace the negative thoughts with more positive ones. Using stress management techniques, deep breathing, muscle relaxation, visualization, and meditation, and taking care of your health by eating better, getting exercise, and getting enough sleep at night it helps you manage your fears. All of these things help cope with fear. Well, how about taking some small steps, getting out of your comfort zone? I know it's hard, especially since we've been on restrictions these last couple of years, but how about trying something new? Open and expand your horizons. Drive to work a different way. Listen to a different radio station. Try a new restaurant. Just because it isn't your normal doesn't mean it's something you should fear. You expect your kids to try new vegetables, try it, you might like it, or just because it's new, you know, don't knock it till you try it. Why don't you try something new? Sometimes that new turns out to be better than you expected, and it can become your new normal. Fear is fear. Whether it's in your face, it's irrational, it's a phobia, it's all fear. It doesn't make it any less scary for the person going through it. It's fear. But sometimes having someone to talk to, trying to meditate, breathing exercises, and trying to eat healthy and get sleep can help. Fear can be good or bad. For me, giving a speech in front of a group of people I don't know still gives me jitters, but it boosts my adrenaline, and I like to think I give a better speech, I'll but a little fast because I'm nervous and I have fear. So what have I learned tonight in researching fear? Fear can be good as well as bad, but fear heightens your emotions and your awareness. It makes you more sensitive to those around you. And you can cope with it by eating better, sleeping better, doing mindful practices, exercising, deep breathing. Get out of your comfort zone. Take baby steps and realize that if you can survive that, you can survive bigger things. And remember to breathe. If you have any problems with fears, getting through them, over them, around them, the emotions are overwhelming. Contact me at Denise at DeniseRamson.com. I am an intuitive life coach and I can help you navigate those emotions. I am more than happy to work with you. Leave a message below in the chat or email me. If you have any comments or questions, put a message below in the chat and I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you all very much and have an excellent night.